No. Oh, silence for the next song. No. But. <coughs> Dear Lord. <coughs> okay. Hi. Welcome back. I probably sound horrible, but there's just a cold going around this last week of Karen Frost, and guess who got it? Um, but I just thought it would be fun to continue the song recommendations or songs as book recommendations with Hosier's self-titled first album. So I'll try to speed run this one more, um, which I do love Hosier. I feel like I need to like stop rambling if you understand me. So hopefully we'll get down to business, we'll have some fun, and we can be out of here in like, what, 10, 15 minutes? Don't know if we'll keep to that definitely try like really really try because <sighs> with harry styles i just really like him but you know i'm already look at me i've got this little snazzy shirt it is a bit wrinkled but um today's my last day in glasgow so there's a lot going on but um i have my little notes so let's have some fun So, the first song is Take Me to Church, and I chose Giovanni's Room because they're both sort of a themes of like queerness and trying to find an accepted place. And then there is a very melancholy, like sadness throughout both of them. So, I really think that would fit really well. But also, Giovanni's a great book if you're trying to look for other like queer but like queer novels and it's also written by James Baldwin which I want to explore more eventually so it's a win-win and then Annual with Small Death and the Coding saying I I have chosen the good in it's about like they both have like themes of like youth and sort of like the good and the bad and there's like unhealthy relationships and stuff and um not necessarily in the book but in the song there's a lot of that but in the book he's trying to figure out you know, he's finding like World War One or something and his plane goes down and he's like, goes to this inn and he's transported into this like weird, um, like half real, half um, uh, fantastic, like fantasy realm and stuff, but it's like still real and tells the story of the first um, film, like ever to be like made and stuff, like movie and stuff. Um, so I, I think it really fits because Small Death um, is like the French for like, um, you know and there is themes of that in the book um it's not like obscene but it's just like it's still there and it's like almost celebrated in a way at least that's how i choose to interpret it both in the song and the book so i really feel like those themes of like it's there's like good but there's also like bad to it of like all this stuff um yeah i, I enjoy both of those and then jackie and wilson i did open water because there's both themes of like love and like living your life with this other person and like figuring out who you are and like and how your life is as a person. So I feel like those go really well. Um, it's just, you know, the book I picked up on a whim and I completely loved it. Um, it it's not queer, but it is a fabulous story. And I feel like the song really encapsulates a lot of what the book stands for. And then someone new, I did Enigma Variations um because in the in the book it's you're just going out through life and um it's just this lovely story of just like loving a person not necessarily like loving a soul and another, another person just figuring out yourself um and bill's explanation of it my roommates he freaked me out sort of like whether it's your relationship um you can choose to interpret the song as every day you choose to wake up and to love this person whoever they come out of bed into the day into you as so even though they might still be your partner or whatever um they still like nothing's consistent like your body's ever growing and changing and you're adapting and hopefully you know getting better and more true to yourself um so you just have to choose to um love them for where they're at and for where they're hopefully going um i hope i did that justice um his explanation and stuff um, and then, but you can also interpret it as literally every day you fall in, you fall in love with someone different. Like first it's like person A, next is person B. Um, but like they're both lovely explanations. And I think in Nimmo Variations goes really deep, uh, really goes well with that type of thinking. Um, and the next song I think is To Be Alone. And I got The Trick Is To Keep Breathing. 
because of the story she is she lives by herself it's very isolated from society is one of like she's not a conventional woman so what did i say oh like there's like a bunch on drugs in the song um but also if you're someone great um your like your truth can be a bit different and stuff at least that's sort of what i'm getting and with the story she really has to learn how to like live with herself like not not choose to escape it every day to choose like to live that life and really be present in it if that makes sense um and i don't know i really think that the song goes well with the book and everything you know i'm a bit biased because i like both the song and the book but you know and then from eden ailey has recommended that stardust goes with it i haven't read it personally but she loves this book um and it's sort of like the truth about life and coming to terms with how like one thinks of like your sort of like sins of your life or yourself whether it's actually you've done or how you're born or like all this stuff and it's just really like just accepting that and like almost um i mean i would choose to celebrate it and everything because you're sort of just born the way you are and there's nothing bad about it but um i haven't read the book i can get back to you but she loves it as well and then in a week i um I chose Hannibal, sort of like that Hannibal series, but especially the last, uh, the third book that's just called Hannibal in the series. Because in the song, there's a lot of stuff of being at peace with someone, but also like the mor morbidity of it, of like, um, sort of like it's out gonna end, like someone's gonna die, sort of like you can die with them, like all these things. And as much as Hannibal sort of like seems crazy that people like it so much, especially in the books, in the TV show, there's like a lot of themes of like love and whatever. Um, and just sort of acceptance. Um, so I think it, yes, he murderer, murderer, cannibal, all this stuff. But like deep down, there's like more to it than just like murder and death and stuff. There's also more of like there's like a twist to it because like nothing's just like um, black and white. There's always it's a bunch of gray areas. Um, I also love the series. So I might be a bit biased, but you know I loved it. And then sedated, I sort of was thinking like the awakening or like train spotting. Um, cause there's a lot of drugs. You could like literally be sedated with like drugs and stuff. So that goes with train spotting cause there's a lot of themes with drugs in it. And then as, but, or you could also be like escaping yourself, which like drugs helps facilitate, but also the awakening. It's sort of like that in the story. Um, it's sort of just like being like all women don't have to be type class citizens. We're just as smart and thoughtful as men. So it's like that kind of idea. So whatever you want to take it, there's two books for you. And then Work Song, uh, Ailey, again, has recommended uh, Tree Girls in Brooklyn. I haven't read it, maybe one day. But it's like the song and of the book. It's just a long life with a bunch of work. And then uh, I think for the song, he changes his life. Um, but like for someone else. So he like works, works and works, I think for his daughter or something. But you know like is it worth it like what sign of sacrifice has to be made and does happen but also i think the father drinks and stuff so that i think in the song it just has that struggle of like um you sort of just like get up and you do like the same nine to five you do the it's, it's like you're stuck in a system you're stuck in a pattern and it's like monotonous and it's boring and then you're at the prison point you sort of get hopeless i think that's where the drinking comes in um whatever um but yeah uh and then for like real people do, I've done Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. I have like a quote, I think it's a, from a Shane, Seamus Haney poem, Hosier Likes. Um, and then it's like someone digging up somebody uh, from the earth and falling in love with them. Oh, I think that's from the song, something like that. But he loves Seamus Haney and whatever. And then just like the title, um, the book really relates to that of just like, it's very more frank and very more realistic in how it demonstrates and portrays relationships and stuff. But it's also this sort of like unrequited love at a certain point. Um, I don't know, that's at least what I got. No, oh, sorry, that's for the next song. No, but the title's very, very, um, the title's very literal, just like the next one. It will come back in Pet Cemetery, and it's sort of like this like unrequited love. This is where it comes in. Um, and, you know, like the cat in Pet Cemetery does come back, spoiler alert and everything. Um, and you can read it as like, oh, it's scary and trying to kill me. Or it's sort of like, it's still stuck to you. So whether it's that person or that thing, or just like a memory, it's always gonna like be there or will pot, will like you'll be reminded. Um, 
at the randomest times, like whenever, um, you know? Um, and then Foreigner's God, I have chosen American Gods because there's a because it combines because a lot of the immigration stuff is just like, oh, I guess the skate, like the landscape in America, there's going to be multiple different gods because everyone there worships different gods. So then like wherever the worship is, the gods are sort of alive, if that makes sense. Um, so that's sort of why I get it, like the Foreigner's God, because in the story, but also like just logistically, there's going to be so many different ways of thinking and religions just expressed in like living in America. Um, so it's a really cool concept. Um, and I got from it's like sort of loving is universal um, and devotion or reverence in a uh, sexual way, universal, but also like abandonment. You can feel so out of depth as like a foreigner in a country or you can sort of feel like, oh, you're being seen and everything. Um, yeah, that's at least what I get from it. I really love the song um, and the book was amazing. Uh, so literally it fits through though, but I think a lot of the scenes do carry through. And then for Cherry Wine, I have chosen Carol, which is Cara's favorite book. Um, and then with the song, it's sort of abusive relationships, but like, it's sort of like rose tinted in a way. And then dealing with abused, like later on, um, like you're sort of grappling with it, trying to process it and just like, try to live with that trauma in your life. And in Carol, the husband of Carol is a part of like a real dick. Um, he's not a good dude half the time. So that's sort of where I connect it. Um, and that makes a lot of sense, but um, you know. And then in the woods somewhere, I have poems in the underground because it's sort of like a battle with yourself and then you're like losing um, and like you're lost, but like thinking of them or like just something. Uh, actually for in the woods somewhere a girl's a half form thing because you're like sort of battling with yourself and then losing and then like something is lost whether it's a person or like part of yourself but you're always like thinking of that or like them um so this book is really good car recommended it to me and it's by an irish author and it was very lovely it's a very interesting like stylized way of reading the story but the themes really really fit um but if you also want a less um, horrible book you could always do poems in the underground but I recommend if you want a very interesting contemporary like story about this girl and her brother just growing up um in not the best of situations read this book um even with how it's written out I still thoroughly enjoyed it and then for the song run I have a magica I don't really know why um, I'm sure I'll write it somewhere on the screen, but um, I just, I feel like it really um, stuck and it just sort of like made sense in my head. Um, I don't know, I, I'm always talking about a magic cut, but again, it's a really lovely story. And I, if you want more of an adult like fantasy, um, or like high fantasy novel, go read this. Um, it's by Clive Barker. It's really, really good. I'm so glad a friend's parent had a recommended to me and um even though i won't be reading real of time and he loves real of time it's like 14 books um but any recommendation or any chance to talk to him about books i've read a lord of the rings i love it so if he's he speaks highly of this book um and i enjoyed it i'm gonna speak highly of it and i implore you to read it and then for arsonist lullaby i have the panopticon because it's sort of a coming to terms with yourself, the bad and the ugly, and you can't escape. So again, it's sort of just like facing yourself, owning up to it, but also choosing to celebrate it and like accept that part of yourself versus trying to hide it or dampen it or like cut it out. Um, again, I've talked about this book before, but I really think it works a lot with the song. Yeah, again, it's more of a Scottish, like more modern contemporary book, but it's a really nice book. And if you love the song, I feel like you would like the book. So I I believe that is the end of the video. I'm in my new flat. There's a little bookcase. I'll do a video probably when I come back. We're organizing it with all my books. And um, But uh, for now, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you want any other uh, series, like albums for me to do, or any ideas of what you want to see from me uh don't be afraid to comment down below and if you like this please give it a thumbs up so i know how to do more of this and um i hope you're safe hope you're having a fun summer and i will see you next time goodbye